Project Search is a one-year course for students in their final year of education, enabling them to spend one academic year on site with an employer. This provides them with the skills, experience, knowledge and confidence to move into the world of employment. Project Search is a program which was developed in Cincinnati, USA at the Cincinnati's Children's Hospital by Erin Riley in 1996. Canada, Australia, Scotland, Europe and England have all embraced the program. Project Search Yeovil is the first in Somerset and started in 2013 through the Yeovil Foundation Learning Partnership. The partners working with the project are Yeovil College, who provide the lecturer, Somerset County Council, who provide job coaches, and Yeovil District Hospital, who is our host business. During the year, students become interns and train in skills essential for the workplace. Each intern is required to carry out three 10-week internships in different departments around the hospital. In the logistics department, two of the project's newest interns, Ben and Zoe, have been trained to pull a range of vital equipment together, providing supplies for all wards and departments around the hospital. In order to keep costs down, interns are trained to make some stock items on hospital grounds, such as tracheotomy collars. I feel the best thing here is working with the other team and see what the other people are working at. Um, hopefully, the skills what I need to hopefully get a big job, hopefully, into the year. <laughs> Housekeeping intern Gordon has received training on the hospital's infection control policies and hygiene standards in order for interns to carry out their job role correctly and help aid in the fight to protect patients. It um, helps me to um, move on to employment and then when you're here working you know you just you just get, get up on your feet just walk around do stuff. Here in the pharmacy department interns like Michelle are trained to pull a multitude of medications as well as rigorously checking that all the items are clearly labelled, ready for dispensing to the wards for the patients. It's a really good course to work on and people are really friendly there and you can always speak to about any problem and you get to choose an internship that, of your choice that you want to do. Interns working in facilities like Alid are trained to help with maintaining the hospital's various facilities, performing tasks such as changing light bulbs and checking plug sockets. Facilities interns are also responsible for helping to maintain the hospital grounds. I take out a tablet and see what kind of jobs are on it and also it helps me find out which kind of jobs, what places I need to go. So I just select a job and go over there, find out what the problem is, head back to facilities and sort it out. Interns like Ollie who work in the academy will be required to take on more of a clerical role. Interns will also carry out tasks such as coordinating meetings and collecting and delivering notes and medical records, as well as directing guests and visitors to the correct locations. My main job roles are organising and showing people where to go for their meetings or conferences and also photocopying. I have really enjoyed Project Search and it has been quite useful. Here in the equipment library, interns like Billy have been trained to carry out a number of equipment checks, from mattress audits to fluid pumps. This is vital as all the equipment should be safe to use before being returned to the ward ready for patients' use. I think the project's gone very well. The implementation phase has been very good. There's been lots of communication between uh, the implementation team uh, and us as the employers. They've started in the department doing quite basic tasks um, and, and they've quite quickly project, progressed on to more complex tasks. I think it will help them to demonstrate that they're able to work in a real environment. Uh, they're dealing daily with real work situations and um, with real people in, in, in within that environment uh, and it'll it boost their confidence. Interns such as Beth, who are working on wards, will be trained to help take care of patients by assisting in tasks such as providing meals, changing beds and fetching drinks, helping to provide key support for new mothers. Interns are required to be aged 18 or over, travel independently, able to work at least 20 hours a week, work independently, ready to work in a hospital environment, able to cope with unexpected noises or smells, have good personal hygiene and good presentation skills. Interns work a minimum of 20 hours a week in their departments. In addition to this, they attend their classes in their base room to help them achieve their qualifications and to prepare them for the world of work through CV writing, practice interviews and job applications. 
If you're considering coming uh, to the programme and Project Search, definitely do it. It's a really good experience. Uh, we're very keen to work with people and help them get on and get skills here in the hospital. We've got lots of very friendly people who are very keen to work with the interns we host. Uh, and it's a really great place to come and work and get some experience that will hopefully help the interns who come to us get future employment down the line. So I'd really encourage anybody who's thinking about it to find out more and, uh, and hopefully get on the programme and come and work with us. For more information on Project Search, please visit www.yeovil.ac.uk and follow the link to Foundation Learning at Yeovil College.